Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the Collective of Cancer. Hey, it's your bonus reading, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So you're getting this bonus reading, Cancer, because um, uh, each month I'm looking for the sign that kind of does something unexpected, right? Or just touches my heart. Um, in August, end of August, your second round of readings, uh, you kind of came in close to 3,000 views, which is not normal for the cancer readings. And so I really felt uh, like I wanted to reward you for that. So you get the bonus reading. And so that was based on the August readings, but it comes round about the middle of the following month. So this is your bonus reading. Yay. I'm going to pull from Fortune Oracle. Let's get a little fortune for you. And then we'll jump into your reading. Here we go. Oh, beautiful card 34. Three and four is seven. So I'm loving the numerology of that. And the card is unity. And it says a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. Well, I think this is beautiful. I love, I love all the imagery here. And also that we are coming up on the full moon in Pisces with a lunar eclipse. So we've got culminations, completions, releasing. It's something that's very healing from the past that you're going to heal and release so that we are clearing the path for this beautiful energy of unity and divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. I'm going to read it right out of the guidebook for you. Here we go. It says, this card is all about emotions, which is, of course, the full moon in Pisces, feelings, developments, and rewards. There is a greater sense of harmony and, you know, cancer, your water sign, surrounding relationships and new projects and your career or business will fulfill you, but be prepared for an unexpected twist of fate. This card signifies the harmonious union between two people. And you may come together with a person of great energy who will uplift your life. It also foretells two people bonding through an emotional connection. I do say. Personal slash relationships. This card represents two people of similar beliefs and traditions bound together in a soulmate experience. You desire more intimacy in your life and long for a deep emotional connection. You have opened up your heart. Oh, Queen of Cups, yes you are. And let go of the restrictions of the past and are now free to show your true feelings and make long-term decisions. There are definite changes ahead and progress in most relationships is likely. Trust and communication will be strong and now is an auspicious time for commitments and proposals in all kinds of relationships. It can also be a symbol of seduction, foretelling desire and passion and an incredibly strong and deep connection. Girl, okay, I don't know who you are watching, but this is the, this is the full moon. This is the full moon to take whatever from the past that has kind of, um, yeah, left a dent in your crab shell, sister. And if you're not here as the Cancerian, but you relate to everything that's being said, like if you're a cross watcher for a Cancerian, this is the full moon where you want to really conjure okay do a full moon ritual look one up google one do a full moon ritual uh to really conjure some healing and release of past wounds and hurts um because there's something really healing about this this whole lunar cycle started with the new moon in virgo and we're kind of releasing it we're getting closer it's an eclipse right so we're it's like we're in off into the wormhole of eclipse season and thing and time speeds up when we're in eclipse season so the energy is he heating up 
um, and this feels really auspicious and it says so. So go back, listen to what it said. Remember, this is a seven card numerologically, three and four reduces to a seven and the word is unity. If I were you, I, I'd be getting out my sticky notes and I'd be putting the word unity and the number seven all over my house. That's what I do. Yep. And a heart symbol. I really do do those things, by the way. Okay, so I'm pulling the split soulmate spread for you, how appropriate, and I'll you know, look at you separately, and then in the extended, I'm coming in with your person's energy, and we'll see it from just their perspective. Okay, so let's see what we get for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <coughs> Ooh, overall energy is justice. Justice is about truth, yes, but also balance, fairness, unity, harmony. Yes, I like it. Present energy for your person, Ace of Cups, High Priestess in their challenge. Opportunity for them is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, I like that, okay. There you are, Knight of Pentacles, come and get it, right? I'm just out here, I'm just doing my own thing. Uh, blocker challenge, Ten of Pentacles, so there's some kind of challenge regarding the future. Opportunity, Two of Wands, the path forward. Nice, justice please. Look at this with the Ten of Pentacles. Can't even make it up. Look at the story that clarifiers are talking about here. How the two of you are bound for all eternity. You can see that lemnus skate above the head of the angel in the strength card. It's it's like you've been together through all kinds of ups and downs across lifetimes. This is the past life soulmate card and how you've helped each other overcome obstacles. It's the leg up card, right? Giving each other a leg up, but you're helping each other overcome the obstacles, gathering up your strength, your courage, and your confidence so that you can push through to the future. And so justice is interesting here because normally I see justice as just like, let's cut to the chase. Let's just, you know, let's find where things are out of whack. You know, where, where are we not seeing a level playing field? That's sort of my take on justice. And she's not blind in tarot. She is seeing the whole situation and she's calling balls and strikes. And she's got the scales in one hand and the sword of truth in the other. And she's got her brow furrowed and she's like, yeah, this is not passing the smell test. So there's something we have to overcome yet with regard to the future. And since that's your in your blocker challenge space, hmm. Let's see what we get from your person. We're showing up with Ace of Cups energy. Seriously. They, they wanna come in and tell you all about how they know you're their one true love. They definitely see a future with you. You're their divine feminine. Um, they see a future with you. They want to be sure you understand that. But there's something blocking them or there's a challenge here. High Priestess.
It's almost like there's something they haven't told you. The High Priestess, while we love her for her intuitive gifts and her, you know, she's got, like, there's this deep inner knowing and her connectedness to the divine. She's also known for her secrecy, you know? And there's something here because we have the world card, endings and new beginnings, but the world card is Saturn, so there's something very cyclical there, and Saturn's the great teacher and the Lord of Karma. And then we have this Ace of Wands. So if I was just looking at these two cards, it'd be like, yes, the time for the new beginning is now. But then there's some conflict or this person feeling conflicted. Because if you're new to the channel, I pull from the bottom of the deck at every interval. And that represents something in unconscious awareness. Let's call that the psyche or playing out behind the scenes. Either way, it's something you can't see. So this person is either conflicted somehow or there's some kind of conflict that they may not have discussed, told you about. It's a secret, it hasn't been revealed. And that would certainly be unfair, would it not? would certainly get in the way of plans or a path for the future. So there's a challenge, all right. I feel like there's this opportunity being handed. When we see the aces, they're gifts from spirit. There's the hand of spirit saying, go, baby, go, right? What are you going to do? You're being given this opportunity to wrap up a cycle and have this new beginning. And it's like, mm, I don't know. There's some kind of conflict. And sometimes the five of wands is outside interference. There's something in the way, something creating this chaos and conflict. So that could be part of the situation for some of you. Keep in mind, it's a general reading, not a private reading. So it, that five of wands can mean different things for different people. Take it as it resonates. Now, the opportunity for this person is do something, right? Take some action. Yes, um, the opportunity is Knight of Wands clarified by the hangman. is a really weird message. But the opportunity is, if you wanna make, the, make a change, you gotta kind of be the change and, all right, focus in on the details. Take the 30,000 foot view, you know, wait for some enlightenment and then go. Um, if you're conflicted, the only thing you can do about that is to kind of face it head on but there's also some kind of message here with regard to um, examining it from afar and then from close up, like the overview and then the details. That's what I'm getting here. And underneath is the hermit. And the hermit is sort of this sense of, you know, take stock. This is a personal growth thing. And this tends to be impulsive. This tends to be, I'm gonna act in the moment and do what I want in the moment. And I'm not really thinking it through. I'm not kind of beginning with the end in mind. I'm just acting on impulse. So the opportunity is to take some action, which was my first interpretation, which is like, take the action. But then the clarifiers are saying, take the broad look first and then zero in on the details and then be guided by what you learn from that, by the personal growth of it all. Um, and don't just act on a whim, act with some thought process that has examined it. Because there is something here 
that I feel this person hasn't shared. Um, maybe they, maybe they haven't shared it because they haven't examined it. And this is somebody who really feels, um, who is coming into the reading, knowing who you are to them, knowing the gift that this connection is wanting to be sure on some level, at least internally, that they make that very clear. But then there's like a disconnect. There's a disconnect on some level. And that may be what you're picking up on that's like ruh -roh. And it's an obstacle of some sort that has to be overcome because it's uh, getting in the way of the future that you envisioned. So now let's look at you. You're showing up with Nine of Pentacles. Independent, autonomous, making your way just fine. But yeah, you like, we need to talk, is what I hear you saying. Come in and open for conversation. Uh, you know, are we, are we in this? I choose this connection. It's all, it's what I've always dreamed of. It's my, it's a miracle. It's a dream come true. It's a wish granted. But like, this is you coming in with that. Let's talk this through because it is, it is a card of choice. It has to be chosen. Um, so there's something sacred here and you're aware of it and you're acknowledging it, but you're also suggesting, well, we've got to, have this exchange, this communication back and forth about it. And you're not saying yet in this part of the spread, are we on the same page? But I kind of feel that that would be the topic of conversation. Do you choose what I choose? Do you see it as this gift from the cosmos and the universe that I see it as? Blocker challenge, Ten of Pentacles. Chariot. All right. So now, <laughs> the High Priestess, you're aware that there's something that's not being said. You have an intuitive hit. There's no forward progress could be a third party issue. Could be a third party issue. And so let me say that if that's the case, you would already know that there is a third party, meaning that this may be someone who's exiting another connection and it's already been discussed but perhaps it has not yet been finalized. Sign here, date here, initial here, turn the page, initial here, turn the page, right? This card is often formalized legal processes. Got it? Documents, papers, et cetera, et cetera. So because the Ten of Pentacles lands on this card and then is clarified by this is the obstacle to be overcome, I'm getting the impression that because the Forward Progress card lands on the Ten of Pentacles and you've got a little inkling that there's something you're not really clear on that has maybe not been shared with you. And what your person has here is, well, all systems go for the new beginning, but there's a little conflict, whether they're conflicted or there's a conflict in River City about finalizing something. Yeah. And you're over here in Singleville because the Nine of Pentacles is a single person in the tarot. And while well, we got to talk, hmm, we still on board? This you and me thing? So I am feeling that this reading is very specific to those of you who may be dealing with someone who is 
exiting or claims they have exited or is in the process of exiting another connection. And yeah. And the third party doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage or it can be it can doesn't even have to be a person. It can be like that you live at a distance and they have to get formal papers to move, right? Change countries, change jobs, right? Relocating. So third party can be a lot of things, but I'm feeling that it's it whatever this is for you, it's it's holding back the progress for the future of this connection. And you have the intuitive hit that you may not, that there's something that has been kept from you or that you don't know. Yeah. So now your opportunity to have path, to have, your opportunity to of wands, the path forward it's like, okay, now what do you want? Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. All right, a lot of options to consider. Could be riding the waves of some emotions queen of swords staring at that queen of pentacles um it's coming through as more like uh, you gotta kind of push your emotions to the side get very practical about this very pragmatic very matter of fact um, because this seems like it could be a very emotionally charged situation that could overwhelm you. So sort of keep this at bay. Lots of options. Yes. But I mean, really, when you think about it, yeah, I got the world in the palm of my hands. I'm looking out in the horizon. It's big, vast world. I could do anything I want. Whoa, nope. Let me just look at two paths. So it's sort of coming through that way. And the queen of swords is like, all right, I, I got to get focused here. I've got to be, be real cerebral about this um, and, and not let all the emotions get the better of me, which if you're here as the Cancerian is going to be difficult. Um, and the Queen of Pentacles, if you're in a third party situation, that could be the third person. What I'm saying, if you're in a third party with a person, it could be the person. If you're not, um, I'm not telling you that you are. And if you're not, it could just be like, you know, that part of your brain that has to look at that. Like, is that, is that realistic or is that fantasy? right am i just is this just an illusion am i have i am i dealing in reality here queen of swords reality practical um you know seven of cups illusion fantasy delusion like am i just what path am i on right now so that is the opportunity is to really look at that objectively queen of swords Okay, so, but you got some really good energy going for you here. So anything's possible. So what I'm going to do now is um, head to the extended. We're looking at it through the eyes of this person. And um, we're going to see what their take is on the connection. So now we know what's kind of happening and, you know, how they're showing up here. We're going to look at how they're seeing this relationship with you, how they're seeing you, thinking about you, feeling about you and their intentions. And um, hopefully that will give you um, some more to work with as you're processing what to do now. 
Okay, so we have Justice is Libra energy. We've got the Strength card is Leo. Empress is Venus, Taurus and Libra. King of Pentacles is Taurus, Knight of Swords is Gemini. High Priestess is out twice. That is um, the Moon, which is actually associated with Cancer. I've always said Pisces, but it's not. It's Cancerian energy. Who knew? I learned something new. The World card is Saturn, Capricorn and Aquarius. The Knight of Wands is Sagittarius, Hanged Man is Neptune, which rules Pisces, Virgo in the Hermit, Virgo in the Nine of Pentacles, Lovers is more Gemini, the Star is Aquarius, Chariot, Cancerian Energy, Queen of Swords is um, Libra, and the Queen of Pentacles is Capricorn. That's what I have for you. I'm headed to the Extended, if you're in the uh if you have the cancerian um monthly membership or the all access pass you already have access to the extended so you don't need to grab it but the link is below i'll see you there bye for now and thanks again for all your support i appreciate it bye